Hello, welcome to uh, an additional educational trading video. My name is Elon Levy Meyer with Canon Trading Company. Once again, I'm going to share things that I personally like, things that I personally research and believe in. But of course, without without saying that these are risky markets and make sure you use your own due diligence. I'm just trying to share information in hopes that I'll give you an idea or two. And today I'm going to speak about a topic that uh, clients have asked me in regards to day trading. And there are a lot of time I get asked, what time frame do you use for day trading? And my question is, and my answer is that if I'm day trading uh, any time from less than 30 minutes or 15 minutes, I'm going to use range bar charts. Uh, I've used before volume charts. I also used Renko charts. Uh, but as of the last couple of years, I'm a bigger believer in range bar charts for really short-term trading. And I'm going to explain a little bit more. Uh, so if I'm trading what I call a quote-unquote longer-term day trades or even swing trades, I will use a 30-minute chart, an hourly chart, and I feel very comfortable with it, definitely daily chart. But once I go below the 15 minutes chart, uh, I like to use range bar charts. And I'll give you some examples here in a minute. Uh, you will see two markets right now. One is uh, right here on the right hand side is crude oil market. Same indicators, uh, same market. Everything is the same like the chart you see on the left, which is a 10 minute chart, okay? What I like about range bar charts uh, goes in two different ways. Uh, the first is when the market moves fast, those range bar charts will complete much faster than if I have to wait for 10 minutes. There is times in crude oil and many other markets that the whole move for that day or big move of the day will happen in three, five, seven minutes. If you have to wait for 10 minutes for your studies to get a new value and uh, to generate a new signal if that's how you trade, you might be late. Also on the flip side, when the market is slow, no action, 10 minutes goes by or five minutes goes by and your MACD may get another value or your RSI may get another value and now you get a quote unquote, a buy or a sell signal simply because time passed, but really there was not much action in the market. So in my opinion, Range bar helps you filter out some of the noise when the market is slow. Range bar helps you uh, get insight into the market or signals into the market much quicker when the market is fast. And what is range bar versus time chart? Time chart, if you look right now at this uh, bar right here, started at 1030 central time with a open of 6396. High of 64.12, low of 63.93, close at 63.98. It reflects what happened during those 10 minutes. Okay, if I look at this bar here, well, let's take another look at this bar where we got a little long signal. This bar happened at 10.14 central and it closed, it took it 16 minutes to close. It wasn't a lot of action. If you look at the bar before, it only took five minutes to, clo to close, 9.57 sometimes six minutes, sometimes less. If we go towards the opening when there's a lot more volume, you will see, uh, let me see, yeah, 805, and then the next bar started at 820, 822. So in two minutes, when we got the signal, the that market moved very quickly and it took only two minutes to complete the 19 ticks range bar. What does that mean, 19 ticks range bar? Every bar, from high to low is going to measure 19 ticks. So the biggest factor in range bar is price action, uh, which many traders feel is the most important thing. Not so much volume, not so much time, but actual price action. So the range bar will, will start a new bar once the setting you decided, in this, this case I'm using a 19 tick range bar in the crude oil, will go and start trading in a new range. So for me, it encompasses both uh, speed, momentum, or lack of in the market and gives me a better picture. And if you take a quick look, same market, crude oil, same market, crude oil. And what do you see? You see more than a, more than a few signals, quite a bit. Actually, most of them were not good signals, just fighting up the trend. 
then false signals on the long side simply because 10 minutes have passed. Over here, you look at the range bar, 19 tick range bar, same exact indicator, same exact signal. You see a great long, you see a very nice short, and you see another long that by the time we finish the video, I'm not gonna know if it's a good one or not, but we'll see how it develops. Again, this is just today, this is just a sample market that I chose just to illustrate some of the advantages of using range bars for day trading versus time charts. <clears throat> I, uh, rec I encourage you to play around with this concept. Uh, with the mini S&P, for example, I like to use eight or nine ticks range bar. Uh, with the mini NASDAQ, I like to use 23 range bar. And I will adjust those settings as well when the markets are more volatile or less volatile. Uh, if you have questions, you wanna chat about range bar, trading in general, or anything of that nature, uh, feel free to call us at 800-454. 9572. Uh, definitely go visit our website, canontrading.com, where we post quite a bit of educational information, such as this video. And please make sure you understand the disclaimer and understand that this is just me trying to share some of my personal ob observations and opinions uh, in hopes to uh, open your mind for another tool or technique that may help you in this very, very tough business of trading. With that being said, I wish everyone good trading. And until the next video, this is Elon Levy-Meyer with CanonTrading.com. Thanks and have a great day.